Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here. And Bradley's outside, actually. Bradley is outside giving our dogs in a bath. Because, you know, yes, I admit it. Every... We bathe our dog quite often, you guys are finding out if you're if you've been with me for a while. And if you're not in your new subscriber, because I've noticed I've picked up a number of new subscribers. Howdy howdy howdy. It's so nice to meet ya. I'm so glad you subscri subscribed. I'm just an old country girl married to an old country boy who loves a bunch of old country dogs and cats and we all live in this R V for now. Making the best of it. My husband is disabled. I am disabled. He is trying to, we moved from Wyoming out here to Florida, trying to go through all the system of getting him him uh, approved for disability. So we're living just on his pension right now. Yes, it's been a rough road, but you know, you know, sometimes the road less traveled, just what you got to go through. So that's about our rundown. I, I do a lot of crafting. I do a lot of loom knitting, some crochet. I'm an artist, and I do painting. I sell all that stuff on Etsy. The link is always below. Um, Bradley just came in from bathing. We now have Ooh. a freshly washed wiener dog. Wiener dog? Wiener dog. Okay, do you want to not leave the gate, the door open though? Yeah, I gotta go get CJ. Okay. <laughs> Making the video. Oh, sorry. Now they all know that. Okay, sorry. Continue. <laughs> Anyway, it's September 14th, 2016. It is 6.09 p.m. And I'm sorry this is coming so late, people. I was trying to hold off because we don't have any internet or cable gone out here in the RV park. And I don't know. Not looking real promising. It's been out all day now. So, you know, I was trying to wait and hope I would have some internet. Because otherwise i got a hot spot to upload it. But then my dear husband told me to go ahead and he goes don't disappoint your fans and he said you know a lot of people really look forward to it and he said that's your favorite one of your favorite things to do every day is do a vlog and it is so that's how I, I touch with the outside world so here I am it is 86 degrees and the real fill is 95 the high will be 86 the low will be 75 it is just kind of semi cloudy but it's beautiful out here on the bay right now um, and uh, please pray for everybody on the East Coast is getting hit with that storm. I know I talked with my friend Marnie. Uh, just just a real mad minute, you know, message on Facebook. And she was, um, uh, they were right in the middle of the storm because they were out camping on the beach. So, you guys say pray prayer for her and everybody else in the past. Um, you know, so, uh, let me get my cheat sheet out. Okay. Yesterday we did take naps. Big surprise there, right? And then Brad did barbecue pork steak out um, on the um, barbecue grill. Sorry, I'm shaking. I got a dog shaking me. <laughs> Nixie. She needs a bath real bad, too. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Um, but, uh, Yeah, he, he grilled, sorry, he grilled um, pork steak, and I had baked potato with it, and we had corn. Uh -huh. He had rice with it. Yeah. Um, and then, I told you guys that Brad had um, tripped, oh, right, I think I did, tripped over a cord, and tripped hard enough he would have fallen, except for, you know, it's small enough in here that, you know, he grabbed a hold of a, a counter real fast, but he pulled a muscle from it's like his thigh it's like from his lower back on down his thigh you know um so we were uh used uh tens unit last night to treat that except for in that area we had put some on the derriere he, i'll just say he had to be careful how he sat <laughs> or else he would just be really wide-eyed <laughs> right hun yeah oh <laughs> uh, but it did help and then he feels better today. It still hurts, but he's walking a lot better. I did some looming on that baby blankets coming up just beautiful. 
I'm really, really liking how it's coming out. My only complaint, though, about this Martha Stewart loom, and I know when I had read the reviews, other people complained about the same thing, is the pegs, you have to keep pushing them back in. So you really have to watch while you're looming. You can't go quite as fast, or else you'll just pop one of these pegs out, which is not a good deal. So that's the only thing. I know some people say they went and glued them in, but if you want to be able to have the versatility, I wouldn't glue them in. So I just kind of keep my finger on as I'm looming to make sure I don't pop one out. But anyway, this is how this baby blanket is coming out right now. Coming out very beautiful, um, you know. So I'm really happy with it, um, and uh, you know, I'm not sure what this mark is right here. Um, it almost looks like just a little bit of a discoloration in the yarn. Yeah, it does. So I'm going to um, wash it, and uh, or some people say wash it. And it'll be gone. But anyway, so that's how that's coming out. We're getting ready to go back into this, this variegated color again. So that's all good. Um, stayed up last night and watched Urban Cowboy last night. You know, back when John Travolta was really young. Yeah, and not as young as, as Grease or anything, but yeah, he was still pretty young. He was delish. Sorry. Yeah, Mr. Buttface. He's got that big hole in his chin. I wouldn't mind sucking face with butt face. But I wouldn't because I'm happily married. Yeah, God, if I ever said that. You know, I'm just kidding. Oh, you know. You know how much, yeah. I'm sure I, there's some actresses that you're like, mm-mm. No, nobody is, nobody is as pretty as you. Oh, you're such a flirter. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> Talk to them. Like I said, still been waiting all day, no internet, no cable. You know, so that's such a life. Um, been looking up info on possibilities of what I can't tell you guys all about yet. <laughs> but we've been looking up some different stuff. And, and uh, once we know, then we'll tell you guys. But, uh, you know, we've been talking with a few friends and stuff. Uh, spent some time messaging back and forth with my uh, uh, best friend, uh, Mary, just seeing until it was over on the West Coast. She's always such a delight. And I did tell her, I did tell her that you done ate all of my honey. Well, yeah. You know, because all of a sudden I'm looking for this honey. And it's like, I know Mary sent me some honey. She gets this honey from, uh, you know, this place in California, local to where she lives. And, um, Very the, stuff. yeah, the bees pollinate the orange groves there. So it's got a slight citrus, uh, taste to it. It is, some, it is the best honey we've ever had. Well, Mr. Hi-Ho here blasts through it so fast the other day and it's like, holy moly. I, I was looking, I'm like, what is that honey Mary just sent me? And he goes, it's gone. Well, we, and it was like about half an inch, maybe. We've had it for over two months, so I didn't blast it. Well, that was pretty fast. Two months? No. So uh, anyway, you my, I told her, I told on you, you know, and uh, we're making breakfast burritos for dinner tonight, Brad is, and um, I don't know, I'll probably just put in some movies and watch them or something, you know, because there's no internet or cable, so, you know, that's all you can do on there. Um, my topic for today is going to be uh, social skills. There are many of us, and myself included, that were not really ever taught social skills. Especially if you um, grew up with a parent that didn't really encourage you to um, I don't know how to say that. If you had a lot of us, if you didn't have parents that really were, were I don't know, didn't really have any friends like my mom didn't really and stuff so you didn't really learn from example so and I know that not everybody is that way but some of us are just learning now um, as we get later in life how to really how to be a friend and you know 
And, um, you know, as long as you both don't shut that door on communication and the friendship. You know, friendships are kind of like marriages where sometimes it'll go hot and heavy and then sometimes that flame will simmer down. But as long as you still got a flame going, it's all good. You know, because you kind of go through... I, I always believe you go through that honeymoon phase in a marriage over and over and over again. You know, you never know when that, that tide is going to come back in. You know, and as long as you always love each other deep down, because there'll be times that maybe you both just can't really stand the sight of each other's faces. Maybe their breathing really is irritating you at that moment in time. You know, um, but then... You know, and all their little cute quirks that you all you thought were so cute in the beginning, now all of a sudden you want to you want to throttle them over and etc. You know, and um, uh, and then like I said, you have you have the glorious periods and then you have the lower periods and stuff. And I kind of believe friendship is that way too. Any relationship, you know, you think about your own relationship, maybe with like a normal parental relationship is where it's going to be, you. Know, glorious and then where you know where you have those lovely teenage years you know and so, and so on so you know I think friendship at that way and a bit, the best friendships are the ones that kind of weather the test of time some friendships can come in so hot and heavy and seem so great and they quickly die out you know and then some friendships you know it, was, it takes a while to build up that friendship and then it just kind of stands the test of time and then sometimes you meet somebody and you just click and you're just best friends and you know what were you going to say sweetie? no nothing oh, I thought you were going to say something I was just looking oh so um yeah I mean you know it's hard to tell with people, but the thing is to never give up trying, because just because you got really burned by this person or that person, it's just kind of like your own love life. Don't quit trying, because you never know if the right one is right around the corner for you, or, you know. Right, hon? Yep. I mean, Brad's been friends with, with people since high school that this been even years go by they don't really even talk they lose touch with each other and stuff then they get on the phone and they talk just like they pick up just like mm -hmm. no time has really passed yeah you know he's got some friends like that um you know uh Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to be able to interrupt. No, I want you. Uh, we always want your input. Oh, always. Well, most of the time, except for if I'm going to wear something I don't like to put on my fashion sense. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's <laughs> what's you know. There's, there's. Uh, I talked with a friend a couple months ago, and we hadn't really talked in probably 25 years. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because we just kind of picked up and everything, and and. It was really interesting to see all the things he'd been through with his life and mm -hmm. everything, and you know, and uh, you know, my cousin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just it's it's kind of funny because I always knew he'd been involved with the law, but I didn't think it would be from that side. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, he's a lawyer. Yeah. And uh, I'm really really proud of him. Yeah. Um, what he's done and. And how he's got his act together and yeah. everything, you know. And it's just, yeah, it's just cool, you know. These these friendships that are so deep and so yeah. long. And I used to have some like that, and then you know, sometimes people just change so much over over the years that you know you just kind of you know lose touch, and you know, you know that when you you talk to them again, they've changed enough. So yeah. It's kind of best just to leave yeah. that that be. And who knows? Maybe in 10, 20 years, maybe you'll get in touch again and, and you know everybody does go through major changes and, mm -hmm. and everything but yeah I just wanted to talk about that um, you know um, just the season of friendships and, yeah. and stuff and uh, you know and I just want everybody to know if I haven't been in touch with you lately this has been a really really hard period in our life um, uh, you know, we've learned a lot from it, and, and you know, we're surviving, and if this doesn't work out, 
you know, what might happen. Um, we will keep looking for a similar situation. Yeah. You know. I'm, I'm really optimistic about I'm this. very optimistic, too. You, you know, know. I just but, hope I don't drive them crazy. No, I don't think you will. But anyway, um, you know, uh, you know, you never know what's around the next, the, the, the next day or even the next hour we're home. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes you have something happen, good or bad, and you look, you look at your uh, spouse or maybe a family member or a friend, and you'll just say, "I did not see that coming." Wow. Whether it was good or whether it was bad, and you just never know what the next day or even the next hour, or sometimes even the next minute will hold. Yep. You know, and I just always really marvel at that, cause especially when you have somebody trying so hard to do something really nice for you, and that you never even thought of, you know, and you just kind of are in shock. And, you know, and like I said, I want to tell you guys so bad, but until we have a definite, you know, but then I know you guys will all celebrate with us. You guys know yeah. this has been a really rough, rough year. Yeah. And, but you know, it happens. It happens. People have, you know, um, a job situation or, you know, wherever they live, the economy turns so bad that you just basically lose everything and have to start over. And that's, that's what happened, you know. And my husband's just, you know, back and stuff is, is gotten worse and worse and worse. And, you know, um, you know, this will be, if it works out, this will be a wonderful opportunity. And it will be something that can really work. My biggest hope is that we will be very, very good for each other. Uh-huh. Well, hope. I think we will be. You know. Just when I really thought about that. But, yeah. You know. Um, anyway, I'm going to get off here because I don't want to make this too awfully long because I do have to hot spot. But that's how dedicated I am. If you're new on my channel, please, you know, say you are so I can say howdy to you. And, um, you know, um, I am working harder at answering comments and stuff. So, um, if I haven't gotten to your comment today, I will get to them as soon as we get internet restored. That's another thing that's getting very old in this RV park. It's the lack of reliable internet. So, because we are having to pay so much right now for data on my phone, so. You know, and we really, we really, really appreciate all these people that are watching us. Uh-huh, I do. You guys are like family to me. You guys are, are my friends. This is where I build so many of the, the wonderful relationships from, you know. Uh, you know, and I know not even all of you that watch and stuff do comment and stuff, you know, uh, but I want, you know, I just really appreciate you guys have, are so warm and caring and, and such wonderful, genuine people. And I just can't imagine my life without you guys, you know. Well, one of the things that we commented on before, and this is for all the new people, is we have been shown more care, appreciation, and support than from most of our family members mm -hmm. than we've got from them. You know? I mean, sadly, I was taught growing up that if you had something bad happen, and I certainly saw bad things happen to family members. My family on my dad's side were all coal miners. You know, so when those coal mines closed and stuff, you saw where they would lose everything, you know, have to move, kind of like, like we're doing and starting all over and stuff. You know, basically they followed usually a trend of they'd find another coal mine or something to work in. Because that's what they, you know, were skilled at. That's why they rolled. Yeah. You were taught that was such a, a shameful thing. You know, but you remember my mom just talking to you about you know, how shameful that was or anything. And it's like, no, it happened. We just watched this one documentary on Netflix and it's called um it's called Ram. It's it's read a rural area medical or something like that, but it's called it is USA Ram or is was it Ram USA? I think it was Ram USA. Ram USA dot org. Check them out. And what they go into is they started going into like the Amazon rainforest and all the other countries providing medical care. Then they realized there was such a dire need for medical care here in the United States that people could not afford. They started setting up, they were in some place in the Appalachian Mountains, 
and um, uh, they used a great big uh, NASCAR uh, racetrack arena to set up, and they were doing they were doing eye and dental and medical, and people were camping out for like a week at a time just to get a spot and stuff, and it was really heartwarming. And it's like, yes, I mean, you know, things happen to people, and and they lose everything, and. Uh, they don't have the money for medical and stuff. I know so many of us, like my husband's facing that right now with his teeth, that he needs to have major dental work done. But, you know, he can't afford it right now. And, um, you know, uh, the only reason I was able to do mine is his, he was making better money when we got mine done. You know, even then I waited four years to get them done, you know, and stuff. But my point is... Um, things happen to people good and bad all over it doesn't make that you're a bad person or a good person or anything like that it's called life you should feel ashamed that something bad has happened maybe you lost your home maybe you lost your car maybe you lost you know whatever maybe you, you had some personal stuff going on where you lost your job you know but it doesn't make you a bad person something bad happened to you you know I mean so never give up and, you know, keep telling yourself that you're a good person. Keep pushing on. Keep pushing on. So, anyway, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship. Welcome to everybody that's new. Please like and subscribe and share. You know, we'll probably do a giveaway when we hit 500 subscribers. Um, you know, and um, I think you guys are awesome. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. And again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Yeah, if you have any questions about his video he did on Sunday evening, he did two of them, one about grocery stores and one about uh, car dealerships and, and, and selling cars. Just leave them, and he's writing them down. He'll answer them all Sunday. Or even questions about, you know. Oh, questions about anything. Yeah. If we know it. And if it's not too awfully personal. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Did you say bye, Brad? I didn't. I did, but bye, Brad. Okay, bye, guys.